What's in the box? Today we have a Gaijin Loot Crate. Every content creator that was invited by Gaijin to Gamescon got one of these. A mysterious Gaijin Loot Box. And I've already unboxed, you, unboxed this and had a look at everything. But I didn't really take everything out, I just kind of had a look at everything. And this has been sitting in my room for a long while now. And I've been meaning to do this for ages. And today's the first day in several months. I finally got an opportunity to unbox this Gaijin loot box or crate or whatever you want to call it. So we have a wooden crate here with the engraved Gaijin Entertainment logo. Never really done an unboxing video before, have I? Inside the box, I should mention that it does say my name Iron. Don't know if you guys can see that. I'm still working on this real life camera stuff. But inside the box it says iron. And that was kind of nice. That was the distinction because each one had a different size t-shirt. Which we'll get to that. So, we've got Wolf on the Blue Lanyard. Themed for ships I'm assuming. Another Wolf on the Lanyard. This one just Wolf on the Red. <laughs> we have a Blizzard. Cute but deadly season 4 figurine box. This is uh, something different. I may have went to the Blizzard booth and this was somewhere to store it while at Gamescom. So this will go off to the side for now. Sunflower seeds, something I bought when I was in Germany but I'm not really fond of this variant. I haven't got around to opening it yet. So we'll just put that off to the side. Sunglasses, tinted lenses. I don't know if they actually are sunglasses or just glasses or tinted lenses. These are Cross Out branded and Cross out, not as popular as War Thunder, but still quite a fun game to play. We have sausages. I've been enjoying these later, but I'm not one of those. Hmm, then again, Ashens does eat food that he unboxes, but this is something again that I've got at a German supermarket, and I was for oh, this looks nice, you can kind of nibble on these, except I never got around to it, did I? Up next, we have a mug. Now this is one of those mugs that uh, has chalk, so you can actually draw on the mug itself. And what I found really cute is that apparently someone's wife at Gaijin did all the artwork for every YouTuber of doing chalk art on the mugs. You can see it kind of worn off here because of traveling inside the packaging. But I still find it very adorable and I'll make sure I put a video picture in the video showing what it actually looks like before you know it got shaken up a little bit. So that's quite nice. Well, even though it is like a chalk mug that you can draw on, again, it is Gaijin merchandise. So, let's put that off to the side for now. Up next, we have a Russian nesting doll. And this one, I've not unboxed yet. So this will be a first time for me. It's in bubble wrap. Move a bit of sellotape. Right then. Let's put it off to the side here. Let's put it, yeah, there we go. Ah, so we've got a little babushka. We have little Ivan. Oh no, we've got a Katushka. And again, another Russian, or female Russian, though I only know one female Russian name, and that's Katushka. <laughs> there we go. Another one. We got another little baby girl. And that's as, that's as small as it gets. Yep, no seam for another one. So let's put those off to one side now. Right then, another lanyard. This one is branded for... Gamescon Terminal 13. So generic one related to Gamescon. And up next, we have the first t-shirt. So what we have is a polo here, a Gaijin branded one. 
This is a fairly plain one, so you're probably looking to sneak into Gaijin headquarters wearing this t-shirt as they'll think I'm an employee. So let's put that off to one side, we're running out of room. Up next, we have a Gaijin notebook. Rather nice leather kind of finish on each side. Got a strap here for keeping it shut. And inside here, we got branded War Thunder stickers, which I probably should have added to my PC by now. Got War Thunder, more War Thunder, Enlist, another game Gaijin is making, coming out soon TM. Gaijin Entertainment logo, cross out, more cross out, bigger War Thunder, more War Thunder. Although it's a different kind of finish, it's just like the letters for this one, it's more... It's a different thing, you've got black finish, white finish, anyway, Enlist. And that's it, and I've got a nice little notebook for keeping notes. And yep, there's the clasp or band. I'll keep it shut. War Thunder, branded. I'm not sure what's actually in this. I don't think I've opened this one before. Ah, we have a War Thunder pen. Oh, look, it's got even little Gaijin Entertainment logos on it. Look, little snail, Gaijin. That is adorable. So, I can use that with the notebook now. And now, for the best t-shirt, we have a Russian bias. We have the Russian bias t-shirt, the Po2. So, let's get that opened up. So, we have a 2OP Po2 t-shirt. Well, that just about rounds up the box. I also have two other, no, three other t-shirts from Gaijin Entertainment. And I'll also be showcasing those two at the end. And now for the last but most important <laughs> Gaijin unboxing. An official, uh, let's see, official Migurine, Migur, official Mega figurine merchandise. Which I've already opened up and I put back into this packaging for safe transport. And we've got a Savannah's minifigure. Which I think is absolutely adorable, though funnily enough I don't actually play World of Warcraft, but I play Heroes of the Storm. And that's another game she's featured in. So, all that's left now is for the t-shirt showcase. Right then, to round out the video, the final t-shirt. So, we have a Gaijin playing polo. We have Russian Bias 2OP Po2 t-shirt. And these are the extra t-shirts which weren't in the box, but I got them from Gaijin anyway. So, we have a white T-34 t-shirt. I'm not going to unfold this. I folded it very neatly, thank you very much. We have the black version of that t-shirt. And, best of all, Cuisine Motherfucking Royale. I've got to say, it's actually quite a fun game. Oh, i got a bonus for you. I forgot about this. Technically not in the box, but it doesn't matter. I have a fucking Cuisine Royale helmet. <laughs> a fucking Cuisine Royale helmet. See, it's the same damn helmet that... It is in the game. It's a green painted colander with spoons attached to the side. I carried this all the way back from Germany through an airport. I couldn't, didn't have any room in my suitcase. I had to carry this through the goddamn airport with this colander in my hand the whole bloody way home. I put it in the overhead compartment on the Ryanair flight. Anyway, that's the Gaijin loot box and a few extras. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more serious videos soon, TM. Like, comment. I packed up this video and I was just about finished, I was going to start the editing. And I remembered there was one last thing in the box I'd actually taken out of it for a special reason. And I'd put to one side. And I can't believe I almost forgot this. It's the highlight of the box. We have a Russian tanker helmet. Wolf on the branded. <laughs> yeah, it's a Russian tanker helmet. And, you know. If anyone knows what kind of connection this is and how we can hook it up to a 3.5mm jack, let me know because there's speakers in this thing still. Don't think it'll be compatible, but whatever. It's a Russian tanker helmet. It's pretty neat. And that was another thing we got from Gamescom. That was pretty fun anyway. So yeah, that's pretty neat and there's some photos of me and the other guys wearing it at Gamescom too. So, that was pretty fun. Right, now this is the real end of the video now. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll break your f***ing legs.